I'm Glenn Darcy, Vice President of Product Management for Arturio. This video, I'll be covering the spectral synthesis functions in the new CMIV software. Okay, I'm going to be talking about the spectral synthesis now. The spectral synthesis basically allows you a, a form of simplified additive synthesis. This is a new thing that we've put into CMI. Uh, it didn't exist in the original. And we found that it would just be kind of a fun thing to do. So what it gives you is it gives you kind of a, a base waveform or a base shape. And I can choose different waves for it. Neither of those are really uh, interesting. But what I can do now is using these four controls, we basically wanted to take additive synthesis down to how, how few controls can you get it and still do something interesting. Um, so using these controls, you can set different amounts of bias of the harmonics. You can change where the center point of the harmonics is. When you throw the bias, it changes all that as well. And then you can change the width of the spread on these things. And then you can also boost the fundamental, so you always have that. So uh, I'm just gonna play with some of these, uh, kind of get a starting point, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. So just a sine wave. I could start with a saw, or a square, or a four bit sine. But we're going to go to a regular old sine wave and start. So you can hear the center just sweeps where the harmonic center is. So with the spread of zero, we're only getting one waveform that, uh, that spreads out like that. So now as I open the spread, it's going to spread those harmonics out across the whole spectrum. And as I shift the center, get it into some great alias spaceships. So now I can uh, boost the fundamental as well so that we never lose that aspect of it. So it gives us a pitch center. We can change the bias. Now these four things, I can sit here and I can put them under control, of course, using the function, the assign functions. Um, these are explained in another video. I'll do it really fast. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, go take a assignment. Let's uh, map our A to center. So we're gonna change, we're gonna sweep the center with that. And we're gonna change the spread with uh, B. And then let's do something with the bias on C. So go back in here. I'm going to now edit these. So you can see how it's going through the center control. I can go on and run this. I will loop it so that it triggers when I play, play a key. So we're gonna go on and just keep the center like that.
Okay, so nothing amazing, but you can get that idea of what can happen here. So I'm going to go on and load up a couple sounds that I did earlier. So in this one, I've got a sequence that's controlling some stuff here. Let's go on and choose sequence one. I've got uh, two synths that I've uh, that I've created here. Let's turn off the sequence. So I've got two different sounds that I've created. So just kind of a bass sound and then kind of a high voice sound. And then I went on and just sequenced them here. So sounds that are kind of boring can end up actually being put to some good, good use here when you th start to throw them in with the sequence or a little bit of effects. So that's just a quick little tutorial on the spectral synthesis functions. It's a small part of the CMI. The CMI is really known about its sampling. Uh, to me, it's really about the sampling and the time synthesis. But the spectral synthesis is a nice little addition. Uh, it just gives you some new tones that you can play with.